Well, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed to Chile for the Churrasco Sandwich. I am following a recipe from ChileanFoodAndGarden.com and the woman behind that, Pilar, is from Chile, so I think this is probably pretty authentic. All right, let's get cracking. So the first thing we have to do is thinly slice a top sirloin steak. But I'm going to make that a little bit easier by putting it in the freezer for 15 minutes to firm up. Now we cut a thick slice of tomato, season it with salt. Both sides, thank you. Set it aside. Now we mash together avocado and salt. Now that our meat's done chilling, we just cut it into thin slices. Now we season our meat with salt, pepper, flip them over and do the other side. Now we cook for one to two minutes on one side, flip it over, cook it another one or two minutes. We want it just barely done. Now we're gonna toast our bun in the same pan. Now we add a little bit of mayonnaise to each bun. Pile on our uh, cooked steak on the bottom. Then our thick cut sliced tomato, seasoned with salt. Then our mashed up avocado. Okay, let's give this churrasco a go. How bad could this be, really? <laughs> the beef is just cooked. It's not totally overdone. Nice big brightness of the tomato. The richness of the avocado. This is tasty. But I do want to plus it up. I'm going to add some Chilean pebre that I made earlier. Okay, let's give this churrasco plussed up with the uh, Chilean pebre. Go. So the Chilean pebre is kind of like a mashup of a pico de gallo and a chimichurri and it's just bringing a lot of flavor to this sandwich this is really good what's that oh you want to see what's in the pebre okay hang on a sec hey uh barry from the past yeah what's up yeah are you about to make that uh pebre well yeah but i mean i haven't even you know done my hair or anything folks want to see what's in it so uh can you show them yeah why not let's do it okay the recipe for pebre is pretty straightforward uh basically a diced tomato one eighth of a diced onion, olive oil, red wine vinegar, chopped cilantro, and she says to add a red chili sauce like Tabasco. So that's what I'm doing. Now we're gonna let this sit for an hour, uh, let the flavors all come together, and then future Barry can enjoy it on a sandwich. All right, so the original churrasco sandwich, not exactly the uh, tidiest sandwich to eat. <laughs> it's a little bit messy, but it is delicious. I really like that thick cut tomato, the mashed avocado, and the, the beef on a toasted bun. I mean, to me, that's like a nine and a half Plus up with the pebre, which is kind of a mashup between pico de gallo and uh, chimichurri. That's a 10. I love this. This is fantastic. I'm definitely going to finish that, and I will make this again. I guarantee it. Maybe not on Sandwiches of History, but, you know, on the sly. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Oh.